Jatan, since you're English, are you watching X Factor on the British channel? Are you excited about it? Well, I'm certainly not excited about it, and I've only watched it under duress. I have to say, I've actually been more excited about the idea of a trip to the dentist than watching X Factor. But um, the simple fact is that I actually did, for the good of the company, I sat down last weekend and I watched X Factor. I wasn't impressed with what I saw, and there's luckily, I think there's only a couple of weeks left, so you haven't got to endure it for much longer. The favourite is Little Mix, which is the typical stereotype girl band. I wasn't impressed with them at all. Second favourite at 2.50 is this chap called Marcus Collins, who seems pleasant enough, but um, not huge on the talent, in my opinion. Then you've got Amelia Lilly. Now, she was my absolute favourite, and she's available seven times the money. Her biggest pro... Oh, she's a girl with a name like Amelia Lilly. She would probably be, but I'm uh, sorry to be very obvious, but she's, uh, her biggest problem with Amelia, if you're watching Amelia, your biggest problem is you're about as nervous as a turkey in December. If you could only calm down, I think you've got a real chance here. And then the absolute outsider is Misha B. I can't remember anything about Misha B, so that's probably why Misha B is the outsider. But that's my view on X Factor. Better things to do on a Saturday night, but each to his own. Thank you, Jonathan, for this information. Thanks for viewing. See you next time. You can't win, so never